Zone. I'm Dr. Apparatus, Golgi Apparatus. Nice to meet you. Looks like we have uh, a deceased victim here, um, as you can tell by the cones and the uh, well-placed wire around him. Let's see what we have here. Um, pretty clear signs of no trauma. Um, his shoes are rather nice. They're placed in a very interesting position. That gives us some indication. You ready all this down, Zone? I got it. Okay, Ribo. Um, let's see here. We're going to have to take some blood samples for sure and get it all back to the lab. Early indications indicate that this man had a drinking problem. Good zone, come here, please. After a thorough analysis, we've determined he died of methanol poisoning. You see, methanol causes similar symptoms to ethyl alcohol, also known as common alcohol that people drink. You, you buy tape, car tape? You shouldn't, zone. Anyway, namely, some of the symptoms are nausea, mild CNS depression, and one of the main symptoms is intoxication. Have you been intoxicated, though? Good. So probably everyone thinks that this, this, this person was just getting drunk, but there's actually a latent period of 12 to 24 hours between this intoxication aspect of it and the, and the, the toxicity of it. But you don't get intoxicated, do you, though? Good. But eventually, uncompensated uh, metabolic acidosis develops, Visual impairment develops, and methanol is metabolized with acetyl alcohol dehydrogenase. You know what that is, though? Good. From there, it's metabolized to formaldehyde, and then we can detect it by gas chromatography. And following gas chromatography, we've come to find out that it's methanol poisoning. And now we need to find out who poisons this methanol. Mike, well, you know, we spent a lot of time in class together, a lot of time in lab together, and it's hard not to bond over those kinds of things. But, you know, it just ended up taking up too much time. And we you know, both came here to be toxicologists and have successful careers. And at the end of the day, it was just, it was just too hard. Um, so we decided to end things. But uh, I did see him come to the party with his lab mate, and they were arguing. Yeah, Mike and I work in the same lab space, so we decided to walk over to the party together. We were arguing per se, but he was just wrong. He was trying to tell me about the model system that he wants to use for his next experiment, and I completely disagree. You know, the reason why we, come, we want to become toxicologists is to answer our questions and pursuit of knowledge. But how are you going to find enlightenment if you can't even plan out basic methodology? Right after we got to the party, he got pulled aside by the program coordinator, who looked really pissed. I think she might have even said, I could kill you for all the work that you put me through. I don't know. These tax students are really good students, but some are a real pain in the neck. They don't do what they're supposed to do on time. They're late for everything. They think they don't have to be in the lab, just hanging around. But they do need to get busy here. That Mike has been late with everything. He hands in his bills late. And yeah, I'm really mad at him, but I didn't kill him. The last I saw him, he went off as one of the first year students. Mike was just the best. Part of why I wanted to become a toxicologist was because of the exciting research I get to do. And Mike was top notch. Well funded, highly translational, it was really going to win him some awesome awards and publications. I was really hoping when I came to this program that I would be able to join his mentor's lab. But because of NIH funding, I wasn't able to. There wasn't space. Well, I guess it's your now. Jessica, wait! No, get her! What? what? We know it was you. We know you me. poisoned Mike with methanol. No, I did not. I Don't did not do me. it. Don't lie to me. I didn't. So, it, take no. her away. No, so? it was Amanda. She's Who? giving him drinks all night. and we do all your mouth work for you. You know what? I 
If I was going to do it again and I had the chance, I would take it. I'd kill him again. That's no excuse. You know what this badge means? I can take you. That is partially true. People do become toxicologists for those superficial reasons. Money, power, greed. Do you like those things? I hope not, Miss Doe, because I do not. I'm a toxicology for the health concern. I want to make this world a better place. I want to improve health for people. I want to solve the world's problems, starting with these people. But these people are where toxicology is all about. 